Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. As you can see, we found snow again. It's not snowing, but we're about 5,000 feet elevation. Um, so, yeah, I guess there's just snow up here. It's, it's drizzling a little bit. I really don't even know how cold it is, but um, fixing to go down a mountain pass. Just went up it, about to go down it. That's always fun, especially when you see snow everywhere. That makes it even more interesting From a, for a Florida boy. A guy that grew up in Florida, never drove in snow really my whole life, you know, other than just a little bit here and there. But yeah, good stuff. Danger downgrade next five miles. You guys want to ride along and do the downgrade with me? You can be my emotional support. I got her in third gear. Um, basically, I'm just going to kind of coast, try to keep it around 45 to 50 miles per hour. Um, that's the plan without wearing out my brakes. It did give me a great steepness, so I'm hoping it's not like maybe five, five, six, something like that. But I'll keep her in third. Hopefully, she'll do pretty good. It's just absolutely beautiful, though. I mean, this area is just gorgeous. Look at the look at the power. Wind certainly just picked up. Looks like you keep her 50, 55 max. I prefer to stay 50 and under. I'll be okay without wearing the brake, without burning the brake. That's the key. I don't have Jake brakes. Really, the only thing I can do is throw in the lower gear and just kind of fluff the brake, fan the brakes every once in a while, kind of regulate the speed a little bit. But other than that, that's all I can do. I've done it quite a few times at this point. Now, I don't know that I've ever done it with snow on the ground. That's the first one. Jen, you'll have to break this up, but I figured it'd be cool to film. Um, I can't talk the whole time, but I figured it'd be cool to film ascending down a mountain pass. Or descent. I guess we're descent. But anyway, we're about, what does it say? 146 miles from Florence, Oregon. That's, that's going to be our state. For the next week, meeting up with Jed and Sandy there, so that'll be fun. Uh, really looking forward to the summer. I mean, Oregon so far has been spectacular. Really looking forward for the weather, the weather to get good and be able to enjoy some of these outdoors. Should be about halfway through this pass, hopefully. I feel like I've been a couple miles. Feather my brakes there a little bit. She's at 47 right now. It's kind of a, I kind of play it off. I'm watching the road, obviously. I'm watching my map to see what turns are coming up. See, this is a pretty subtle turn here. I can take it a little faster and not worry about it. Just took that at 51. No big deal. Got a little bit of an up climb here, so it kind of slowed me down a little bit. We'll have a passing lane here in just a second, so not too bad. It's pretty straight. little subtle turn here, and then we'll straighten back out. I look like there's a sharp one toward the end of this thing a little bit. I've done these a few times now. That first couple times was pretty scary. I, the first time I did one was uh, Wolf Creek Pass in Colorado. I think it was a 7% grade for like three miles. Uh, I smoked my brakes because I didn't downshift early enough and I wasn't able to, yeah, just, it was a nightmare. So I ended up having to pull off the road for like an hour. Um, and, Left uh, on the Centrium Highway. Yeah, that's, I think that's the end of the, the down. So I like we're about to go back up. So I think I'd just pop in with you guys, show you that little lake here to the right. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I, I, can't, I know this camera's not doing it justice. But we'll pick up you guys here a little bit. All right, Oregon, you can stop now. Oh my God, guys. Most beautiful Oregon can stop. I mean, this is the most beautiful state I've ever driven through. Hands down. Just In a quarter mile, turn right. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, all the, the desert landscape, the forest, the mountains, the coastline, the rivers. It's just, oh my god. Anyway, I'll stop gagaing. Jen got lost. She's probably 45 minutes behind me. I don't know how she got lost. Apparently, she had the wrong address in her GPS, and then we got separated. And Turn left, then arrive at your destination. She had the wrong address, so I, I, I still don't really know what happened. We're here at Thousand Trails. 
let's go ahead and get it checked in and um, see what happens. Good old thousand trails. Arrived. What a day. I may or may not have put in the wrong address and got lost, but it's fine. It is what it is. Oh, we were supposed to have our best friends, Jed and Sandy, here at the campground with us, but why don't we have them at the campground with us? They got rejected and turned away. Thousand trails. Ugh, I could go on and on about it. <laughs> Nevertheless, they found a spot at the camp, the state park right down the street. So we're gonna go see them. We have not seen them since October 31st. <gasps> no, November 1st. Well, no, October 31st, because we said goodbye to them that night. Oh, we need to get close slider. God bless America. Anyway, we're gonna get to go see our best friends, and they got turned away, because now we've gotta kind of reroute our plans. We don't know uh, what to do about it all. Okay, so let me shut my mouth. She keep rambling, just like. Wow. Can we get that turned off? Sure. Look at the lake. This is a beautiful state park. Look who it is! Look! Look! <laughs> oh, I got even on camera. <laughs> look! Look who we found! We found our best buddies ever. We told you we were gonna meet up with you. I know. But we missed them so much. Anyway, we're gonna hang out, so we wanted to say hi. We have got a treat for you today. We're going with Jed and Sandy, Wonderful Revolution, to go see some sea lions. Today is our adventure day, and so we're gonna go check out some sea lions in a cave that you have to go down an elevator to get there. And I hear they're really stinky, but we're gonna have a blast, so let's get loaded up. Look who we found coming out of the van. We are at the Sea Lion Caves. This is near Florence, Wait. Oregon. Wait. Not really sure the exact town, but <laughs> Jed is hopping around like a seal because this attraction has it's his seal. seal of approval. It's Let's get across the street so and we are gonna go experience some Oregon, Oregon Sea Lion. All right, we are at the here. Sea Lion Caves with the one, the only, wonderful revolution. Stay wonderful. Oh, you're looking at the, I didn't realize you had that pointed at me. <laughs> Jed wants him some popcorn. You can actually take it down with you. It's not self-service though. It is not, it is not. Two bucks and you gotta ask for assistance. As a young girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl If you ever get the chance to come to the Sea Lion Caves in Oregon, one, Oregon should be on your bucket list no matter what because it's freaking amazing. And two, the Sea Lion Caves were awesome. They were a little stinky. To the smell. You get used to the smell? All right, well, let's get up here. We might get some popcorn in the gift shop and then yeah. we'll be on to our next <gasps> adventure. Oh. 
Caden Sellers was last seen at around 8.35 p.m. on June the 5th, 2022 in the Federal Way, Washington area. Born November 19, 2008, black male, 13 years of age, black hair, brown eyes, five foot tall and approximately 105 pounds. If you have any information on the whereabouts of Cadence, please reach out to the Federal Way Police Department at 1-253-835-2121. Let's see if we can try to help bring Cadence home.